Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to take this picture and apply a cinematic effect to it. If you'd like to follow along with the same image that I'll be using, I've included a download link in the video description. To apply a movie effect to this photo, the first thing we need to do is give it a dark, faded appearance, where there's overall less contrast in the photo, but the colors are also darker. After that, we need to change the tint of this picture, where the shadows have some blue added to them, and the highlights have orange added to them. And finally, we'll need to give this photo the correct aspect ratio of a feature film. Let's start off by giving our picture a dark, faded appearance. We can do this by applying a curves adjustment. The shortcut to apply a curves adjustment is Command or Control M. To give our photo less contrast, we're going to bring this node up and this node down. We can see that our picture now has less contrast. Now we're going to make the shadows even darker by clicking and dragging down on the spline in this area. We're also going to raise the highlights just a little bit. Now that we've darkened our photo and given it less contrast, the next thing we need to do is change the colors. To do this, I'm going to exit out of this dialog box and then come down to the adjustments icon and select color balance. First, let's add some blue into the shadows. We'll need to change the tonal range from midtones to shadows. Then we're going to give the shadows some more cyan and more blue. Next, we're going to add some orange to the highlights. So let's change our tonal range from shadows to highlights, and then we can add some more red and yellow. We can see that all of the shadows in our picture are now looking blue and the highlights are looking orange. There are many other ways we could have changed the colors in our photo, like using another curves adjustment or using a gradient map. If you want to learn about all of the adjustment layers in Affinity Photo, I'll leave a link in the video description for our complete beginner's guide where we take a look at all of the adjustments and how you can best use them to edit your pictures. For now though, we're done editing the colors, so I'm going to exit out of this dialog box. The next thing we're going to do is give our photo the aspect ratio of a feature film. Movies typically have an aspect ratio of 21 by 9. To give our picture this aspect ratio, we're going to use the crop tool. You can activate the crop tool by pressing C. Then in the contextual toolbar, we're going to change the mode from unconstrained to custom ratio. Then we'll make the ratio 21 by 9. Now we just need to press apply to apply our crop. Even after cropping your picture, you can still move your photo around by using the move tool. Just remember to unlock the layer over inside the layers panel. After clicking on the lock, you can click and drag to move the photo around. At this point, we're just about done with our movie effect. The last thing I want to show you is how to add black bars on the top and bottom of your picture. Since many screens have black bars when you're looking at movies, having the black bars can help finish the movie effect. First though, I'm going to press Command or Control Z to undo all the steps I've taken to the point right before I crop my picture. Now I'm going to get the Rectangle tool and click and drag to make a rectangle. Then in the Transform panel, I'm going to change its width to 21 and its height to 9. 
Then I'll press V for the Move tool. And while holding down Shift, I'm going to click and drag to resize the rectangle. Now I'm going to select our photo in the Layers panel. And while holding down Shift, I'll also select all of our adjustments. Now we're going to make all of these layers a child layer of the rectangle. To do this, we're going to click and drag all of these layers down into the right of the rectangle. Now all of these layers will only be visible where the rectangle is visible. And finally, to add the black bars, we're just going to make a black rectangle as the background to this picture. To do this, we'll get the Rectangle tool, and then click and drag to make a rectangle. Right now, this rectangle is a child layer of the first rectangle that we made. Because we want this new rectangle to be the background, we're going to click and drag on this layer and drag it down and to the left. Then all we need to do is change its color to black. With our rectangle in place, we are now done with our movie effect.